Hey, do you got an old bus that uh, the windows are starting to leak like this one down here? Stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix these things. Alright, so your first step, you're going to, uh, you've got four screws. And so each screw and washer, sorry I know it's a little dark here. The snow is creating a bad backlight. But each, uh, each screw and washer are going to hold on uh, two windows on on one side so you'll have on each each window you'll have one here and one below it and then again on this side the same so first step you're going to want to loosen those after you've pulled out all the screws just put the window down just a little bit so you can grab it and this window is siliconed in but chances are if you've got condensation or if you're getting leakage down here at the bottom the silicone probably isn't sticking too well so you're just going to pull the window in and then up all right down here in this channel you can see all the uh the years of the mud and nastiness that's the main reason why why they go to leaking and there is a little bit of a ledge here so the water has to come up but it's not an issue whenever you've got a bunch of dirt in here so it'll definitely pull it in and then pull it over and then down into your wall and then on the bottom of this window you can also see it does have a little bit of a seal but again you're going to want to you're going to want to clean all this off and caulk it notice up top there's a lot of old silicone so be sure to take all of the old silicone off because it's not doing anything anyway. And there'll be a lot of silicone down here in, the, in this corner, both of the corners, and then some here on this track, this vertical track. So first off, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and lay a nice bead right along this, this bottom edge here on the inside, just, uh, or just on the outside of the window, but just under this lip. That's right here. Um, you're also going to want to put a bead right here on the outside of the, uh, or just on the inside of this this uh, ledge here. And then on the bottom of this window, I've got the window turned upside down. You'll put a, a little bead there. And then on this window, you'll see that there is a, a lip here in this inside ledge that we talked about right here right here rides up against uh, this right here so you're going to want want to run a bead of silicone right along that as well and be sure to fill these inside corners with a really good dab of silicone as well. And just the opposite of how we took it out, you're going to put this ledge down in here first and drop it down. And then put the window in. And before this silicone dries, you're going to want to uh, smooth it out on the inside and out just to make sure that it does get a good seal against the glass and the frame of the bus window. But next time, we're actually going to be doing an LED indirect lighting right up here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got any comments or questions, leave them below. Uh, if you have a bus conversion that uh, you've done this to, let me know uh, what kind of experiences you've had. Uh, we did buy a bus. If you, if you haven't noticed, we will be moving into this thing here in the next month or so, hopefully. 
and uh, I'll take you along and show you how we have converted this 1989 Bluebird school bus into our home of the future, tiny house. Hey, thanks again. See ya.